for those heading to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, take a rain jacket or an umbrella just yes. in case the race just starts in case. at 2. So right mm -hmm. there in that sketchy, scattered area. Right. And I know the qualifications going on tomorrow. That will be a fantastic day, too. Yeah, let's focus on the positive, the beautiful weather today yes. and tomorrow. We were down at Monument Circle this morning previewing the MotoGP and motorcycles on the Meridian that's going to be taking place. And I got to fulfill <laughs> a lifelong dream. Take a look. Not only am I a big motorcycle enthusiast, but also a Harley enthusiast. And Eric has graciously agreed to give me a ride. Bruce, I know you're jealous. Oh, that's, <laughs> but hey, we want to remind look. people, motorcycles on Meridian tonight from 7 to midnight. Tomorrow from 4 to midnight, we can come down, enjoy all things motorcycle. Check out Eric and uh, Southside Harley as well. Guys, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, I'm ready. Right, ready? Yeah, let's, let's go. Do it. All right, looks like we're going to see, not going to see Carrie for the rest of the day. She'll be off on a ride. <laughs> All right, Carrie Klein for us live. Lots of stuff. Oh, that was a blast. <laughs> J Doug Bowles, with a, he's the president of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, joins us now to take a closer look at that main event. But, you know, if you've got a need for speed like I sometimes do, the MotoGP, the Red Bull Indianapolis Grand Prix, is a, a wonderful event to check out. Yeah, it's a great event, and today's weather is beautiful, and tomorrow's mm -hmm. weather is going to make it spectacular already today, just talking to fans out there having a great time. And the neat thing about this event is that Indianapolis turns into Motorcycle Central, yeah. so whether you want to come watch racing at the Speedway or whether you just want to ride downtown for most motorcycles on Meridian or like you want to get on a bike and go around the circle. I mean, it is just a fun time to live in Indianapolis and, and the race is the anchor of it, but this whole city embraces motorcycles this weekend. It's fantastic. And you mentioned the race is the anchor, but also at the Speedway, a lot of other fun activities and features and events going on. Talk about some of the things families can get into there at the track. So all of our races that we have are sort of different, right? You've got the Indy 500 and what takes place in May then, and then the NASCAR race and then this one. This one, I'd buy a GA ticket just show up, wander around. We've got all, the Moto Midway. There's all kinds of activity with the motorcycle manufacturers out there. Fun things for kids and families and then the vendor marketplace and the clothing. It's so much more than a race and that's what makes it so special. And you really don't even have to be a motorcycle racing fan. If you just like being out in great weather at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, there's tons to do and it's really affordable. Kids 12 and under are free. I mean, it's just a great way to spend the weekend. Now for our viewers who really have no idea what the Moto GP is all about, talk a little bit about this racing event because, I mean, it's just, it's a daredevil sport in some so to speak. It's a daredevil sport and it's really an international sport. This is the international series. It's Formula One of motorcycles and they come, they're running 200 plus miles an hour at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway on the road courses. They tip those bikes over, they're dragging knees and there's also several support classes, one of which is Moto America, which is the U.S. based version of motorcycle racing. So that's there as well. So there's five different classes competing at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway this weekend on the track. But the big one that everybody wants to come see is MotoGP and, it, and that's where you see Nikki Hayden from Kentucky, uh, Valentino Rossi, who's one of the most famous r motorcycle racers ever, Mark Marquez, who has just dominated the last few years. Some great racing that you get to see there as well on basically Formula One motorcycles. Yeah, now we've been talking about the weather and a little bit of rain in the forecast for Sunday. Do the bikes run in the rain? The bikes run in the rain, and, and we've had a couple of years over our eight years where there has been a, a time that you get to see them in the rain. The beautiful weather is obviously better, but in the rain, if we have a little rain on, on that morning, it'll be fine. And even if there's rain during the race, but it sounds like those scattered showers. We've had a great year. Think about NASCAR. We thought it was going to rain for sure, and then we got the entire race in. So I'm thinking that maybe we're going to have another one of those. Hey, it looks like it's going to be rain, but it'll be fine. But if it does... They'll run in the rain, and they'll run almost 200 miles an hour with those rain tires on. It's pretty spectacular. Yeah, 27 laps of sheer yep. excitement. Yep. Doug Bowles, president of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, thanks again for joining us. Well, thanks. Anytime. I, you're so much fun, and you do such great things. I'm happy to come talk to you. Yeah, thanks so much. Appreciate it.